Today we're crafting the perfect 808 bass and laying down a dope beat. Let's cook up some heat. Before delving into bass sound design, let's take a look at how bass notes are composed for this genre of music. The notation is quite simple. I use the tonic notes of each scale with long sustains. Let's start crafting the 808 bass sound. For oscillator A, I used a square waveform in the synthesizer, which is a good choice for creating this type of bass. I set the octave value to minus two and the unison value to one to achieve a sound with a powerful body. For oscillator B, I used a sawtooth wave shape and set the unison value to two to add a wide texture to the bass. Take note of this section. I intend for the bass sound to rapidly pitch down from a higher frequency to a lower one at the beginning. If this transition occurs very quickly, it will create a sound resembling a kick at the onset of the bass. To achieve this, I am using LF01 and connecting it to the master tune of the synth. Set the parameters of envelope 1 which is related to the sound amplitude, similarly to mine, to achieve a sound with a quick attack and a long sustain. Be sure to increase the release parameter to prevent noise generation at the end of the sound. To eliminate unnecessary high frequency components in the sound, I use the MG Low 24 filter. To control the operation of the low pass filter, I set up envelope 2 almost similar to envelope 1 with the only difference being a lower sustain level. I then route it to the filter cutoff to shape the filter's behavior. By selecting the sinus waveform from the subsection and setting it to minus 2 octaves, a smooth sound with a very low frequency is added to the bass. To add an analog texture to our sound, I added a noise similar to white noise to the sound. To give our sound a strong start, I configure envelope 3 with a fast attack and short sustain, and connect it to the noise volume knob. To enhance the punch and attack at the beginning of the sound, I connect envelope 3 to the resonance and drive parameters of the filter. This ensures that at the onset of the sound the resonance is high and rapidly decreases. Our work with Serum Synth is done now, let's dive into the music project and discuss some points about mixing the bass sound we created with the kick, as well as showcasing the other instrument lines and audio effects. The bass we crafted has inherently deep and subby characteristics with ample resonance. Therefore make sure the type of kick you use for your music provides a snappy sound and is very short. To shape the attack and body of my kick, I use the Quantum plugin which consistently delivers satisfactory results. I recommend giving it a try. To prevent interference between common frequencies of my bass and kick, I utilize the Trackspacer plugin. This tool allows you to apply sidechain within a specific frequency range. Alternatively, you can also use the built-in multiband compressor in your DAW, which may be a more cost-effective option. I used a snare with a short decay to achieve a snappy sound.
I employed a straightforward arrangement for the hi-hat and percussion elements. To add a dark and ambient aesthetic to the music, I employed audio effects, such as vinyl emulation and a rain-like noise. That's it for now. I hope you learned something new. Let's go ahead and listen to the music I made with this sound. But before that, if you have any questions or feedback, please let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified of new videos. Oh, <laughs>